Hi everyone! Here we are back for another Stats and Cocktails video and we're going to be discussing March 2023 numbers. First off though, the boys are back in town, the boys are back in town. There you go. <laughs> go Boojay, go Boojays! Baseball season is my favorite time of year. Did anybody else see the game on Sunday? Oh my god, like I was like biting my nails so bad. It was such a good game. So anyways, let's get into uh, our cocktail. Mm -hmm. So this month we're going to do a pink grapefruit Paloma. So we've got the glasses here. We've rimmed it with, typically you rim it with salt, but I stole Ina Garten's recipe and I actually mixed it with um, one part sugar and two parts salt. Actually, it's like, I would say half of a part <laughs> of sugar and then one and a half parts of salt. And then you put your ice in there and Marcus is going to give it a shake. So it is made with, I'll wait till he's done shaking so you can hear it. <laughs> it's bittersweet, that lime ring. That's what we call it. Good? Okay. So it is one quarter um, of pink grapefruit juice and then one quarter of tequila, preferably white tequila, just because it has a um, milder taste. And then also one tablespoon of simple syrup, which you guys should know by now what simple syrup is. And then what you do is you pour the drink into it once you've shaken it up with some ice cubes. That's good. And you can put a lime or a piece of grapefruit on the rim of your glass and cheers. Cheers. Go Blue Jays. It's a nice refreshing drink this time of year. taste the tequila but you can also taste the grapefruit it's a nice balance oh and i really like that rim with the salt and the sugar that's cool very sweet very sweet uh, yeah bittersweet it's a bit of both <laughs> so now we're going to talk about the caledon numbers in march of 2023 we had 169 listings that were available for sale they were active we had 91 sales in all of caledon and then year to date from january to the end of march we've had 186 sales so almost half of the sales happened in march for the what we've had so far in the first quarter and then the average sale price actually went up it's at 1.328 million in march now remember that i always kind of round up to the next thousand just to make the number easier okay to remember and when you look at february we had 67 sales, so the number of sales have gone up in March, which is pretty typical. Usually March and April are where the market starts to pick up, but it's not quite as high as it should be. We have a lot less inventory than we did last year this time, right? And then the average sales price in February was 1.184 million. So that leaves a balance of about, what's that, $150,000 difference, give or take? from March, so the prices have been going up, especially in the townhomes and semis we've noticed. And the other thing that uh, kind of stood out when you look at February versus January, sorry, versus March, is that in March we started seeing the detached homes starting to sell because they were taking quite a while there. It was basically only the first time home buyers that were shopping in the townhome and semi area, but now we're seeing rural properties are selling. Uh, we've seen some very high priced homes and luxury estates that are selling so things are switching a little bit which is a good thing and out of those 91 sales that occurred in March 29 of those were in Bolton so we'll see what happens in Bolton <laughs> We'll see what happens next month. We are expecting it to still continue going up. There's going to be um, an announcement, uh, which has not been announced yet while we're shooting this video. But by the time this video comes out, we will know whether there's going to be another increase in the mortgage rates or not. Hopefully not, um, but we'll see where it goes. So if you ever have any questions about real estate or the market or whatever it is, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to answer any of your questions. All right, so everyone, cheers. And here's to the Blue Jays. Support your local Blue Jay. 